Hello everyone! In this video I'd like to take a look at uh, how to make pass relative with uh, Autodesk Maya and I'm using Mac here but this really just works the same for the Windows so don't, don't mind about that. So this thing is probably the most uh, useful tip what you can have if you're new to Maya and you need to work with some files with someone else you want to share your your project or you have to send your project to the client and then you want to make sure that the client will be able to open the project with the texture files without having to go and uh, find them or or remap them or something like that so i've got this uh, sneaker model in here and i have this bunch of textures uh, with the material in here so if I go to the hypershade in here and I take a look at the textures so you can see that I have a bunch of textures of like base color and uh, then I have like a, the, what is this, uh, this is going to be like a, yeah like I don't know this same file, a normal map in here and things like that. You can see that there's this file path in here which is just my personal path and obviously if you send this file to someone uh, they won't be having the same path, no way. So now we are looking at absolute path in here and we want to make sure that this is relative path so that we don't have any of this, this junk in here. And that's very easy. Maya is actually really clever about that. So, so what we need to make sure is that we go to the file and we need to go in here and, and select this set project. So this will set the project folder so that Maya will understand that this is the project folder where I need to look for stuff. So I'm going to click set project and I'm just gonna go to to my uh, let me see uh, desktop I have this folder set up in here I'm just gonna go to I actually have the stuff in the final so I'm gonna do that and set and now if I'm gonna go to back to the hypershade and check the textures let me see I have those in here you can see that now we don't have any more of that path we have just the texture file and now he saved this project and package that with those texture files, whoever opens this file will be able to open it without any issues. So I think this is like a, the really simple, uh, simple thing, but but many people don't know this. So I just wanted to make this quick video and share this with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this Osiako. See you in the next video.